Hi, my name is Chris Thrawn, and I tutor on the internet and in person in Austin, Texas. I love tutoring. Uh, you can find out a little bit more about me on my webpage that I'll give later on during this presentation. But right now, I want to talk about how I might be able to help you and what I might be able to offer you as far as helping you with your math and science learning issues. So let me start out with an example. I want to illustrate my philosophy of teaching math. And so let's see, it goes like that. Okay. Now, of course, that's not math. Uh, but in some ways, it may uh, have similar characteristics to math. It looks like a complicated jumble of lines going here and there. Now, a lot of people look at a math problem, and that's what they see. Complicated, incomprehensible jumble. Now, this is Chinese, of course. It says, uh, Now, any nine-year-old Chinese uh, child can, can read this. It may seem complicated to you, but they can all read it. That's the way I look at math. Math is a language. You can learn the language. It may seem complicated, uh, but you can learn it. it and uh, take some confidence, and it takes the right approach. If you're having problems with math, quite likely it has to do with the way you go about doing the math problem. And uh, that's where I can come in. I function as a coach. I can look and see uh, your methods of doing problems and suggest you better ways of doing problems. My purpose is not just to get you through the problem or through the particular test that's facing you, but to develop habits that will that'll help you for the rest of your life doing math and science problems. So to show an example of habits that are not uh, conducive to uh, good uh, problem solving. Let me give another example and show you how to do this problem. This is a simple Algebra 2 problem that you might get in SAT or in uh, first or uh, second week of Algebra 2 class. So let's see what my problem is here. f of x equals, this is what's given to me, minus 7x minus 3, and g of x is equal to uh, 2x, plus, 2x minus 4. So that's what the problem says. And what I want to do is I want to find g of f of 1 minus 2. Okay. Now, if you know a little algebra 2, you say, okay, this is a composition of functions. And you just have to plug in numbers. X is an unknown. You need to plug in for your unknown X. So let's see. Let's start with this expression here. I've got G. G starts 2X minus 4. So let's start out with a 2. Okay, and then I have an X. X is an unknown. So that means I'm going to have to put in the unknown. So I'm going to put in my parenthesis there. And F of 1. F here is uh, minus 7X minus 3. So I'm going to start out. That also starts out with a minus 7. Then I've run into another x that's going to be, a, that's going to be my uh, 1 there. Okay. Then I've got a minus 3 there. Then I've got a minus 2 there. And then to finish up the g, I've got a minus 4 there. Okay. All right. So let's do this arithmetic here. I've got minus 7 times 1 is minus 7. Minus 3 is minus 4. Minus 2 is minus 6, minus 4 is minus 10. So inside the parenthesis, I got minus 10 times 2 gives me minus 20. Okay. All right, now suppose I'm doing the SAT, and minus 20 is not one of the solutions that they offer. So I made a mistake somewhere. If I want to go back and check my mistake, I'm hosed. Because I did so much in my head, and this just looks like an incomprehensible jumble of numbers, Together, if I went back and tried to check my example, I'd probably end up making the same mistakes over and over again, because my mind's already in a rut. So this is an example of how not to do a math problem. Uh, you have to count on making mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Einstein made a mistake. Now, he probably made more than one mistake. He divided by zero, which uh, made his uh, uh, theory completely wrong. So let me go back and do this in a way that's a little bit more suitable for accuracy 
uh, without sacrificing a lot in speed. Okay? So here we go, we've got uh, g of f of x, f of 1 minus 2. Now, first thing to do is, when you write down the problem, write it down with a mindset that you're going to go back and be able to check it. One good way to do that is always write down statements that are true. So let's start simple. I've got f of 1 here. Let's figure out f of 1. So my first step is find f of 1. Let me go with a different marker here. f of 1. Okay, and I'll write down what's true. I've got minus 7, and then my x is times 1, minus 3. Okay, and that's a times, not a minus. Sloppy writing is another common mistake that I'm subject to myself. Minus 7, minus 3. Okay, so we've got minus 4 there. Okay, let's go to the next step. So we've got f of 1 minus 2. Now I have to write out a little more steps, but that's okay. Paper's cheap, and it's only a little more time. So minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. And let's go on to, and now I have g, what I have inside is minus 6, so I can take g of minus 6. So I'm doing this step by step. So I'm going to have equals, and I go over here and put in for the unknown. Minus 6 is my unknown, so I have uh, 2 times minus 6 minus 4. Okay. And that gives me, 2 times minus 6 gives me a, a minus 12 minus 4. And minus 12 minus 4 equals minus 16. So I've done it one step at a time, and I've come up with this answer, minus 16. Now, uh, suppose this also is not one of the choices on your SAT answer, so you know you've done something wrong. All right, let's, but now I've written it out in a way that I can go back and check. Okay, so let's go step by step. I've only done one step at each stage, and we'll find the error. Okay, f of 1. And what that means is I put 1 in for x here, so I've got minus 7 times 1, minus 3, that's okay. All right, so let's work that out. Minus 7 times 1 is minus 7, minus 3, whoops, that's not minus 4. A common mistake is to... Uh, do uh, double negatives uh, when you're adding or subtracting negative numbers. So that turns out to be minus 10. Now, a good thing about the way I've written it out is I don't have to go back and do the whole thing. I'll just go back and correct my mistakes. Okay? Here I had a minus 4. That was what was wrong. Let me take that out, and that becomes a minus 10. Okay? Minus 10 minus 2 is minus 12, not minus 6. So I'll just take that like that. Okay? Now I've got minus 12, g of minus 12. Okay, so that's 2 times minus 12, minus 4. So that's that 2 minus 12, that becomes minus 24. Minus 24 minus 4 is minus 28. Okay, so that's just one example of some techniques that I can help you out with. Uh, if you are interested in learning more, let me give you my uh, web address. Here's my web page. It's uh, www.edufire.com slash coach math 3. Okay? No spaces in that coach math 3. And my email address is coachmath3 at gmail.com. So thanks for watching and hope to hear from you soon.